Understanding how a lightning diverter works on a fence system is sometimes complicated. So we're going to go ahead and work through step by step understanding how a lightning diverter works. You've got a coil and a spark gap. The distance between the spark gap is most important. There are two screws on the bottom side of your lightning diverter so you can easily loosen those to adjust the spark gap. Generally about a quarter of an inch is a good distance so you could tighten those down there at about a quarter inch between your spark gap. The definite way to tell though if that's the appropriate distance is to engage the system. If you see or hear a spark then you, your gap is too tight. So we'll want to change that gap, tighten up the screw, engage the system, and try again. Second important component of our lightning diverter is the coil. Once the power has from the lightning strike has ran back, it arced over the bridge, our spark gap in our bridge. Any little bit of energy that did not make that bridge or arc across there will have to go back through the coil because it wants to make its way to ground as well. Any little bit that's left, the coil will slow down so it does much less damage to our energizer. So we'll go ahead and engage the system so we can tell if we got the appropriate distance between our spark gap. We'll go ahead and turn on the energizer. Then we put in this cutout switch which is disengaged right now so we have no power flowing to our system. So we can engage the switch. You just want to take a look and make sure you don't hear or see a spark. We do not hear or see a spark so our gap is set appropriately. If for some reason you would and you need to troubleshoot that, if you do see a spark or hear a spark, disengage or turn off your cutoff switch. Once you've done that, there's no power flowing to your system and we can adjust the spark gap. Once that's all done, you've, you have created yourself a very nice lightning diverter, lightning protected system.